There you go. Yeah. Okay, I want to thank everybody for coming today uh, to Sandy Point Beach, this beautiful parking lot here on West Haven Shoreline. This parking lot a few years ago was uh, just a gravel uh, pit. It's something that a lot of volunteers spent a lot of time fixing up, raising money for grant money, um, and just making it this beautiful site it is today. And I just want to say how appalling it is to have such an incident happen here at, at this site. Um, I'm here today to call on the state delegation to stiffen the crimes, uh, the penalties for animal cruelty crimes. We had three incidences in the last uh, th two weeks here in... We got... We've had three incidents in the last two weeks in Connecticut of animal cruelty, and that's something that has to stop. A one-year schnauzer, one-year-old schnauzer was burned to death right here on this site on July 4th, and it's something that we cannot stand for. This is not who we are here in West Haven. This is not who we are here in the state of Connecticut. Um, the police are doing a phenomenal job trying to apprehend the perpetrators of these crimes, and we have many volunteers here and organizations that are raising money for a uh, uh, reward to catch these people. Um, what I'm calling for is a doubling of the crimes for animal cruelty. Presently, it's one year in jail and a thousand dollar fine. I think we should immediately double that to two to two thousand dollars, two years in a mandatory uh, ban on owning animals for 15 years. I'm going to call on James Maroney, our state senator, here in West Haven in this district to champion this cause. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce uh, Heather Scuddy. She's uh, executive director of Star Relief uh, Pet uh, Rescue. So, Heather? Great, thank you. Um, I first would like to say that um, a question that always pops up when I have a conversation about animal abuse is what do they look like? People seem to want to see a photo, but honestly, they look like you, they look like me, they look like the person you sit next to in church, and they look like the person that delivers your mail. And saying that, we need to stop feel-good measures and raise the rate of animal convictions. We need to hold animal abusers accountable now. We need to stop weak penalties that are handed down to these abusers, and we need to be the voice of every animal that is abused. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. So again, I would like to call on our state delegation here in West Haven, Connecticut to take the lead on this. Uh, penalties are, are much too lenient. You know, very rarely do people go to prison for something like this. Very rarely do they serve time. Um, and I do believe that there should be a, a registry where they should not be able to have animals in their home, live with animals for at least 15 years. So at this time, we will take questions. I thank you all for being here. We do have pictures of some horrible crimes. I don't know. Do you want to turn that around? We have a a burned animal right here. That, that is something that we cannot stand. We can't stand to allow this to continue to happen without there being very, very stiff penalties. We have a starved animal um, over here So on, on this photo. So again, we'll take questions. Any questions? Andy, Thank you, you all. An I do own an animal. Um, I own a black lab named Lucy. Um, I served on the task force for animal rights for the state legislature, and I saw pictures of, of and, and heard of events of very uh, abused animals. I, I, I mean, it's horrific what these people can do. Someone who can do something like that can go on to hurt children, to hurt people. I mean, that says something about their character. If you can abuse a helpless animal, it, there's no saying the, the damage you can do to, to a human being. What can we do to continue the efforts? We can uh, just lobby our legislators, um, call them. Call uh, every one of your state legislatures, anybody in Connecticut. I mean, it's going to have to start up at, at the Hartford level. And I think that, again, I'm going to call. I did reach out to James Maroney, Senator Maroney, to lead the charge on this. Uh, and they're very receptive at this point. So, Thank you. Thank you all for being here today.